Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Welcome back to TCM. Up next, our Saturday afternoon continues with a classic courtroom drama from 1960, adapted from a hit Broadway play. Starring Spencer Tracy and Frederick March, it's Inherit the Wind. The story is based on the real-life trial of John Scopes, a high school teacher from Tennessee who was arrested in 1925 for teaching the theory of evolution, which locals viewed as a threat to their Christian beliefs. His trial attracted national attention and pitted two strong-willed, high-profile lawyers against one another, Clarence Darrow, who defended Scopes, and William Jennings Bryan, who fought in the name of Christian fundamentalism. The story was first dramatized as a stage play in 1955, and when producer-director Stanley Kramer adapted it for the big screen, he knew exactly which actors he wanted to cast. Kramer had never worked with Spencer Tracy before, but he couldn't picture anyone else in the Clarence Darrow role. He got him to agree to take the part by telling Tracy that he'd get to work with his old friend, Frederick March. The rapport between the actors on set was extraordinary, and celebrities even came to visit the production just to watch the two legends at work. Tracy's performance earned him his seventh Oscar nomination for Best Actor, and he had such a positive experience on this production that he made three of his final four films with Stanley Kramer. From 1960, also with Gene Kelly and Frederick March's wife, Florence Eldridge, in the role of his wife on screen, here is Inherit the Wind. Inherit the Wind was directed and produced by Stanley Kramer, who had a reputation in Hollywood for making offbeat and unexpected casting choices in his films. He brought together unusual teams like Cary Grant and Frank Sinatra in The Pride and the Passion and used actors in genres they weren't known for, like casting Fred Astaire in the nuclear war drama On the Beach. He decided to cast Gene Kelly in the role of the reporter in Inherit the Wind, and although it was an unusual career move for Kelly, he jumped at the opportunity as soon as he learned that he'd be working with Spencer Tracy and Frederick March. He studied the actor's performances on set and later said that he learned a lot about technique from Frederick March, but couldn't take any lessons from Spencer Tracy because Tracy's performance was, as he put it, like magic. All you could do, Gene Kelly said, was watch and be amazed. Up next, Zero Mustel and Gene Wilder star in an inspired comedy written and directed by Mel Brooks.